everyone, welcome to my channel, 10 Ways to Wear It. I'm Alicia, and on this channel, I take one fashion item or one fashion trend and show you all 10 different ways to wear it. Now, today's video is all about fashion and style. I'm going to be sharing my tips for creating bold and memorable outfits. Now, these aren't going to be your everyday outfits. These are the outfits that you put together when you want to stand out. Maybe it's a special occasion, your birthday, somebody else's birthday, an anniversary night. Maybe you're going out of town and you just want to stunt every night at dinner. These are those outfits, and I get a lot of questions on how do I conceptualized outfits how do I put together outfits I get those questions a lot on my Instagram so even if you're an aspiring influencer and you really want to upgrade your style hopefully these tips can help you out I'm gonna be sharing all my favorite tips for creating bold memorable outfits that stand out that really turn heads and just make people say wow so if you want to hear these tips and tricks if you want to elevate your style a little bit for those times when you want to stunt and stand out let's go ahead and jump right into this video Alrighty, so jumping right into the video, I will be inserting video clips or photos to support the concepts that I'm sharing with you all. But the first idea that I have for creating bold and memorable outfits is mixing prints. And if you've been following me for a while, you know that I love mixing prints. I think that's one of the easiest ways to create an outfit that stands out, that's memorable, that's bold, that's fun. And you can go so many directions with it. It doesn't have to be all the way out there when you're mixing prints. You can definitely do it on a scale that is sort of polished and really really nice and I figured that out recently when I started really getting into mixing prints in the last few years but I want to share some mixed print outfits for you all that I recently shared on my Instagram these are outfits that I think are so fun this is definitely my style so it's not gonna be for everybody but like I said if there's a special occasion or just something you want to do different and surprise people let them know you don't really know me like that these are the outfits to go for. And in the first outfit you're gonna see pop up right now, I paired a black and white striped turtleneck with my camouflage joggers. And my camel joggers are definitely something that I use a lot to mix prints. They are so fun and easy to style with other items. I style them with leopard, polka dots, stripes, all kind of stuff. And as you can see, they look so good with that striped turtleneck. Of course, I finished off the outfit with a bold red military coat. And honey, it's the coat for me, okay? Threw on some red pumps with the look and bam, you have a really cool, bold, memorable outfit that definitely stands out. And when I wore this outfit outside to take some pictures in it for my Instagram recently, y'all, I got so many compliments, okay? The black people was compl complimenting me, the white people was complimenting me, the Asian people, this Asian lady was like, where did you get that coat? I need that. I was like, girl, hold on. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> but yes, as you can see, that's a really cute, bold outfit. Stripes and camo, a great way to go when you're mixing prints. Try it out. For the next outfit you're gonna see pop up, I paired my snake print green pants from Misguided with a navy or sort of sapphire blue turtleneck. That's like a knit turtleneck that I picked up from Nordstrom Rack. Threw on a different printed coat. That coat is also from Misguided. And as you can see, the two prints with that hound's tooth coat and the snake print on the pants is so bold. I threw on some navy boots to finish off the look, but girl, what a look. I mean, the colors, the patterns, the prints, the style of the pieces, very bold very memorable. I shared this look on my Instagram and everybody seemed to love it. So definitely try out mixing prints if you want to create bold and memorable outfits. That's my first tip and that's one of the easiest ways to do it. But let's move on to the next one. Alrighty, so moving on to my next tip for creating bold and memorable outfits, color block boldly. Now the reason why I say color block boldly is because you can color block and make it look really subtle. You can color block with black and white which is a monochrome look. You can color block with brown and beige. You can color block with purple and lavender. When I say color block boldly I mean go from this end to that end. Okay that's what I do to create bold and memorable outfits. I use extreme colors when I'm color blocking and it really does seem to pop and stand out and I've created two different outfits for you all to show you what I mean. I'll go ahead and insert the first one now for this first look I paired a lime green sweater that is from Fashion Nova it has like a little cutout on the neck you all saw that in a recent haul that I did with some purple skinny pants y'all is this look not electric AF okay it really does pop it stands out I threw on some gold accessories with the look to keep the accessories kind of simple if you're color blocking the best accessories to pair with it is silver or gold keep it simple those always go with the color blocking outfit but I threw on a gold chain belt gold heels and as you can see 
electrifying look. That lime and that purple pop against each other. And those are not common colors you see together a lot. And that's why I say color block boldly. If you're going to do it, go for it, honey. Don't, don't go lightly with it. Don't tiptoe with it. Go for it. In the second look, I paired my faux leather green pants from Misguided with a really bright, bold fuchsia pink sweater and some, of course, some gold accessories on the bottom to keep it nice with the accessories and kind of glamify the look a little bit. But as you can see, these two colors together, honey, I guess you could say these are AKA colors. I'm not an AKA, but I love me some pink and green together. They pop, okay? Really extreme color blocking is a great way to go when you want to create bold and memorable outfits. And I know a lot of people tend to stick with the color wheel. I mean, but that's predictable. That's, you know, it's predictable. We're trying to do unpredictable. We're trying to do unexpected, okay? We're trying to do out there. We're trying to do outside of the box, outside of the universe, if we can, okay? So color block boldly to create bold and memorable outfits. Let's move on to our next tip. Alrighty, so the next thing that I like to do to create bold and memorable outfits is to incorporate contrast into my outfits. And I've said that a lot over the years, the biggest element of my personal style is contrast. And that's what usually makes people say wow about my outfits. I incorporate contrast in a lot of my outfits. I'll pair masculine items with feminine items. I'll pair really polished items with rugged items. I'll pair geeky, quirky items with sporty items. So I love the idea of contrast because I think it's something that's unexpected and it'll make those really random simple pieces stand out if you pair them with their opposites and I love doing that for example years ago I paired like a tool layered top with my camouflage joggers talk about girly and masculine it doesn't get any further than that right so that's an example of that and I might go ahead and insert a photo of that if I can find it but that's an example to show you all what contrast can do for a look and I always try to incorporate some type of degree of contrast in my outfits when I'm trying to create a bold look I've created two looks to give you all an example of what I'm talking about here in this first look you're gonna see pop up right now I paired my leather skirt which is like a really nice upscale structured leather skirt with a graphic tee Okay, a graphic tee is a super simple, really casual piece, and you have it on with a dressed up skirt. I threw on some gladiator sandals with a look to kind of dress up the feet a little bit along with the skirt, and then on the top, a simple graphic tee, okay? And it really is like a band tee, and so it creates that nice contrast that I'm looking for. In the second outfit, I paired my Destroyed Joe's jeans with a high neck tan colored top and my camel tan coat. Those pieces on top are very polished, they're very structured, they're very upscale, and then I have on shredded, destroyed jeans with them. Talk about opposites, right? I threw on my nude pumps from Nine West on the feet to also add a little bit of polishness, but the jeans are really what is breaking up that polished look and adding that element of contrast. So those are two looks to show you all what contrast can do for a look. If you are struggling to create nice standout outfits, try incorporating contrast. Take something really feminine and pair it with something loose, baggy, masculine, take something really polished and pair it with something rugged, distressed, destroyed, and I promise you, it will look so fresh, it will look so unique, and it'll make people say, wow, okay? That look is bomb, girlfriend. <laughs> I hope you all would try it out. Now let's move on to the next concept. Alrighty, so the next thing that I like to do when I'm creating bold and memorable outfits is to wear things in unexpected ways. That has been a winning edge for me on my Instagram. It really has helped me grow a lot. It's been a winning edge for me on YouTube because a lot of times I'll wear things in a way that's unexpected and you guys are like, whoa. I gotta try that look, okay? I gotta try that and see what that's about, girlfriend, okay? I really like to think of new ways to wear old things that I like, okay? For example, shirt dresses are something that I love to wear. I like to wear them as dusters. I wear it open over jeans and a t-shirt. I like to wear it as a dress, belt it, have different fun with it, wearing it as a dress. And then I like to wear it with things on top of it. Sometimes I'll do like a skinny strap dress on top. Sometimes I'll do a skirt, like a denim skirt on top. And I've created some looks to show you all some of the ways that I wear things in unexpected ways even though you've seen them over the years one example is as I mentioned a shirt dress one of my favorite pieces to wear and in the first look you're gonna see right now I styled up this beautiful reddish orange shirt dress that I purchased from H&M with a denim skirt on top I threw on some sneakers on the feet those are Pumas and as you can see I created a really fun 
different style of outfit. I definitely could have just worn the shirt dress and some sneakers. I could have worn the jean skirt with the t-shirt and some sneakers, but instead I did the shirt dress with the denim skirt on top to have a little bit of fun with the shirt dress. And that's definitely something you can try out. I've done this look with a kimono. I've done this with a different style of dress. So there's a few ways you can have fun with this type of look. But as you can see, wearing it, that shirt dress in a different way really does make it stand out and just conceptualize it in a whole nother way, right? In the next look, you're going to see me style up a piece that I recently purchased, which is a crochet dress from H&M. Now, I'm not exactly sure how this piece is supposed to be worn. I guess it could be used as a swimsuit cover-up. It can be used as a dress. But I decided to wear it over a shirt and jeans. And you'll see that look pop up right now. I styled it over a white button-down shirt. The shirt is from H&M. And my Levi 501 jeans. Threw on some high heel booties with the look. Threw that crochet dress on top. And bam, it created a unique look that you wouldn't really expect from a piece like that throwing it over an entire outfit and just letting the outfit show kind of through that crochet really does make it stand out so that's one way that I've worn something different I do this a lot in different ways on my Instagram so if you're not following me on the ground you definitely should but I like to try to wear things in different ways and you'll see that in my reels you'll see that in my posts so try wearing things in different ways to create a bold and memorable outfit and I would encourage you to try out some of my looks you know I you know I'm not gonna say I'm the most innovative influencer out there but if you're a mid-sized woman and you're struggling to come up with really cute bold outfits try out some of my looks okay please do i encourage you to and tag me on instagram if you do i love y'all i love y'all for doing that <laughs> now let's move on to the next idea Alrighty, so jumping into my next idea on creating bold and memorable outfits, one thing that I like to do is let my accessories do the talking. If you follow me on Instagram, then you know a girl loves to accessorize, and I'm going to go ahead and pop one on right now while I'm talking to y'all. Okay, we're going to just go for it right now, okay, while I'm going to wear this while I go ahead and talk to y'all because this accessory is definitely doing the talking. This hat is from Nasty Gal. It's a recent purchase and I love it, y'all. So let me go ahead and pop that on. But when I say let your accessories do the talking, I mean just that, okay? Try incorporating bold accessories into your wardrobe. And I like to do that with thrifting. I get a lot of my bold accessories through from the thrift store because I can get them at a lower price. I don't have as much buyer's remorse. If I spend a little money on it, it's not as expensive as it would be brand new. So I like to go to the thrift store and see what crazy bold accessories I can find. And I have a couple to show you all that I've recently picked up. The first being this bag. Yes, this is a purse, y'all. This is my Michelle and Barack Obama bag, okay, and it has them on both sides. And it's one of my favorite recent purchases, okay, and I'm not party affiliated in any way at all. Trust me, I am an independent voter. Trust me. And uh, it could go either way with me, but I love the Obamas. I don't give a F, okay? I, I do love the Obamas. So I was so happy to find this at the thrift store, and it's so bold. Definitely gets people talking and turning heads when I've worn it. And I'll go ahead and insert a photo right now so you all can see how I've styled this bag. I've worn it a couple of times out in public and uh, you know it is what it is as you can see I wore it with my little Karen Brit chick line when she came out with her line I wore it with that outfit that I really love it's like a navy top and green pants and then I also wore it with like a green plaid skirt and argyle sweater that I recently wore so definitely like to have a little bit of fun with this bag got the Obamas on there another bag that I thrifted that I am obsessed with is this Kate Spade bag as you can see this is in the most electric pink in the world okay and it is a vintage Kate Spade bag that is no longer made alligator embossed so bomb I wear that bag all the time I love it one of my best thrift finds the next bag that I recently found at the thrift store is also a Kate Spade bag and it's this purple one and purple happens to be one of the major colors going on right now and I love purple but um, yeah pick this up at the thrift store as you can see it has that lovely Kate Spade on the handle and it's just a really beautiful bag look at the inside y'all it has purple leopard print on the inside. So bomb, okay. Found that at the thrift store. So like I said, thrifting is a great way to find really nice standout bags. But I love, you know, standout shoes. Y'all know I'm a shoe girl. These are one of my favorite pairs that I've recently purchased. These are from Nicole Linnell's collection. If you don't know who Nicole Linnell is, she's a beautiful black woman. She has a wonderful boutique and store online and her items are just amazing, okay. She's just blowing up everywhere. I love her. But another thing that I love when I'm trying trying to have standout accessories is headwear. We got the hat going on. Y'all know I'm a hat girl. I wear hats all the time on my Instagram pictures and whatnot. But I also love turbans.
turbans. Here's some of my gold turbans that I absolutely love. I have a sequin one. I have this really pretty gold one here with the little pin on the front. I love a good old turban, okay? So those are ways that you can let your accessories do the talking by wearing super bold out there accessories and having fun with them. That is a great way to create bold and memorable outfits. Be mindful of your accessories because sometimes the accessory makes the look, whether it's your bag, your shoes, your headwear, or it can be you just dressing up a ponytail, like putting some little clips or something in your ponytail, adding some butterflies to your hair or something like that. There are so many ways that you can do it, but honey, Bold accessories definitely create memorable looks. So try it out. Now let's move on to my next tip. Alrighty, so the next thing that I like to do to create bold and memorable outfits is to incorporate texture into my outfits. Now I'm not just talking about leather or faux leather. That's pretty average textures that we see all the time. I'm talking about things that are really textured. Like we're seeing a lot of quilted pieces lately. I love tulle. You all know that because I've done entire videos styling up tulle skirts. I love, you know, things that have a lot of layers. I love snake embossing, alligator embossing. I love faux fur. That that's another way to add texture to your looks. So adding texture really does create interest in your outfits. For some reason, when you have like a really textured piece on, it just creates sort of an interest because it, it has that contrast element to it, but it's also something we don't see all of the time. So I like to try to find texture pieces. I usually find them at the thrift store. I looked up on some really good texture pieces recently, but I wanna share two outfits with you all that show what it looks like to add texture to your outfits and how that does create visual interest. In the first look you're gonna see, I used a vinyl blazer. That is from Misguided. Threw it on with a black camisole, my Levi 5 one jeans and some black booties. The pieces underneath the vinyl jacket are pretty simple, but it's that vinyl shiny patent blazer that really does make the outfit pop. And that green helps it out a lot. That chartreuse green is gorgeous. So there you see one piece where I've added a textured piece to my outfit. That vinyl blazer is a great way to go. And we're seeing those pieces all over the place as well. That blazer is a pretty recent piece to my wardrobe. So you can definitely pick that up if you want to. I will link it for you all. In the second look, I just basically took an all black outfit, leather leggings from Topshop, well faux leather leggings. I threw on a black turtleneck underneath, some black booties, but it's the top piece that finishes it off. That's where the texture comes in and that is a faux fur vest from Free People. I picked that up recently from the Lulu's website. It is gorgeous. It's definitely not a piece that everyone would wear. I know that texture pieces aren't for everyone because they do add volume to the body. A lot of people shy away from them, but for me, I'm not looking for that vixen vibe. I'm not always trying to show off my body. So I don't mind if something adds like a little bit of volume to my body or distorts my shape a little bit more. I'm not really tripping off of that. You know, we all have our priorities when we're getting dressed and you can't really enforce yours on other people. I tr definitely try not to enforce mine on other people. So the thing is, I really don't mind a little extra volume in my pieces. So if it's something quilted or if it's something that has padded shoulders, I'm not really tripping about that, but I know some people are like, oh no, it makes me look bigger, it makes me look this, that. You know, we all have our priorities when we're getting dressed. But there are two looks where I've incorporated some texture. Uh, you saw a faux fur look, you saw a look with a vinyl blazer. Those are definitely textured pieces that add interest to your look. So if you're looking to create bold and memorable outfits, try incorporating some texture into your looks, whether that's with patent leather, vinyl, faux fur, texture pieces like patents and um, suede and things like that. They all add texture to your look and therefore add interest to your look. So try it out, ladies. Let's move on to the next one. Alrighty, so the next tip I have for creating bold and memorable outfits is to really go bold when you're wearing monochrome outfits. Now you can definitely do monochrome with neutrals, you can do it with really easy colors, all black, all gray, all white, all cream, all brown. You can definitely do monochrome that way. But if you're trying to create a bold and memorable look, go with bold colors in your monochrome outfit. Go with an electric pink, go with a Kelly green, go with turquoise, go with something that's really gonna pop if you want to create a memorable look. And that's something that I tend to do a lot. When I go monochrome, it's either gonna be some kind of look that you're like, what the heck? Or it's gonna be a color that you're like, whoa. Okay, it's gonna be 
bomb purple from head to toe. I'm gonna go ahead and insert a really cool monochrome look that I recently shared on my Instagram. It is featuring a purple trench coat and purple plaid pants. That is a really cool monochrome look. As you can see, that purple is really popping in that outfit. And I just love that look. And you all have seen that. If you're following me on Instagram, you've definitely seen it. I shared it on a post and I shared it in a reel recently. So that's a look that I absolutely love. But I do have some video monochrome clips to insert for you all where I've created two different monochrome looks to show you what it looks like when you go bold with your monochrome outfit. So in the first look, I styled up my blue quilted dress from ASOS. Of course, I have to keep it monochrome, so I threw on my blue boots from ASOS and a pair of floral blue and lavender tights underneath. So as you can see, that's an all blue look that is really bold, really extra, really out there. And it's monochrome, it's all one color, but as you can see, it really does pop. In the second look, I went for an all green look. These are pretty simple pieces. I threw on a high neck green top from Amazon. I threw on my green pants from Fashion Nova. You all saw those recently in a haul. Threw on some simple little shoes on the feet and my green puffer vest. And as you can see, that is a really bold look. Something about that green, that deep, sort of army green really does pop. And that's something that I tend to do. I wanna go ahead and insert another green outfit that I shared on my Instagram, a photo of this outfit. But here's another look that features army green, but as you can see, it's the silhouette for me on this one. That tulle skirt with the high neck sweater underneath and that puffer vest creates all the drama in the world. So I would say if you're doing a monochrome look, go bold with your color or Go bold with the pieces that you're styling in the monochrome look. So either or would do it, but like I said, we're talking about bold and memorable looks here. We're not talking about your everyday fits. So if you're trying to go bold and memorable, make those colors stand out, make those silhouettes stand out, do something different with your monochrome look. So let's move on to our last tip in the video. Okay, so moving on to our last tip in the video, and sorry about the noise outside, it's pouring rain, y'all. So if it's noisy, ignore it. We finally got some rain, I'm happy about it, but it's real noisy right now. <laughs> but the last tip, I don't have any videos, any photos for this one. This is just gonna be me talking to y'all, one girl to another. One way to go bold and create memorable outfits is to stop overthinking your looks. I used to be the kind of person who felt like I was too big to wear everything, that I couldn't wear things certain places, that people are gonna have something to say. I was worried about what people are gonna think. I was worried about, you know, is any guys gonna wanna talk to me if I wear this? You know, how am I gonna be perceived by people? I overthought my looks too much. When I started to really develop my confidence and let go of that, I started creating the best looks of my life, honey. You cannot overthink it when you're trying to really stand out. When you wanna just do something different, don't overthink it. That's where you get caught up and you end up not wearing the look or you end up feeling like, ugh, just forget it, okay? I've been there so many times. Stop the overthinking, stop judging yourself, stop being hard on yourself, and just rock the look, girlfriend. Stop trying to match everything and make everything look perfect. It doesn't matter. If it's pieces that you love, that you know fit you well and work for your body type, put them together. I don't care if it's a polka dot and stripe, a plaid and a leopard print, whatever, girlfriend, go for it. Stop the overthinking. If you wanna stand out and you wanna create style that really does turn heads and is memorable and just completely elevated from your usual, don't overthink it, just do it. That's my last tip, that's all the advice I can give you. That's all you need, really, that last one, is to not overthink it and to do what you wanna do because too many of us get caught up in our heads and get caught up in what other people are gonna think and what other people are gonna say and what other people are doing. Would such and such wear this? No, she wouldn't wear this. Honey, you're not her, she's not you. Do you, okay? There's all kind of songs called Do You, okay? <laughs> Listen to Drake, do you. You can't overthink it when you're trying to do something different. You can't overthink it when you're going with your own personal style and what you love. Or if you're stepping out of the box, stop overthinking it. Stop beating yourself up. Just do it, okay? That's my last tip, y'all. <laughs> Thank you all so much for checking out this video all about how to create bold and memorable outfits. I really hope these tips and tricks will be helpful to you all. I know for a lot of the maximalists out there, you're already applying these things to your wardrobe. But even if you're a minimalist or just an average dresser, you can always use these tips and tricks on days where you just wanna stand out and do something different, do something crazy. Maybe it's your birthday, like I said in my intro, maybe it's an anniversary, maybe it's just somebody else's birthday and you really want to slay and stand out and not dress in your usual style, 
hopefully these tips and tricks will help you out because I think they're useful to pretty much anybody. But I would love to know in the comments what tips and tricks can you share for creating bold and memorable outfits? Are there certain ways that you go, certain things that you reach for to create outfits that really stand out and make people say, wow, I would love to get some more tips and tricks. You guys always leave the best comments and the best advice. So I'm definitely going to be checking these comments, but I want to thank y'all again for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you're not subscribed, make sure you hit that subscribe button right now and join the family. I promise you will not regret it. To all my regulars, thanks for the support and the love always. And I will see all of you on the next video. Love ya. Bye. Mwah.